Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Kina and happy 17! Okay, raise your hand if you were today years old when you found out that 17 was even a thing. <laughs> Guilty. I did not know. We all already know about 420, but I really wasn't familiar with 410, right? So apparently 410, it spells the word oil when it's turned upside down. So it's a day like 420 that's kind of an homage to all of the like cannabis concentrates um, and oils and stuff like that that we infuse. So I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I love to like entertain. <laughs> so, so any excuse to celebrate is cool with me, but my friends over at Levo, they actually sent me a present for 17. I'm really excited to check it out. It's their um, mega accessories bundle. So I was gonna wait until I was with you guys so that I can open it up and see what's in here. So it's just been sitting. All right, let's see. We got um, a fine oil mister, beautiful. Ooh, it's, it, they're calling it an herb block tray, but to me, it's basically like a butter tray. And I literally am still super old school. I make all my butter <laughs> by hand, and um, and then I cut it, uh, like you know, from sticks. So this is really cool. This will be really handy when I decide to uh, make some more butter, more gummy molds. You guys remember these from the gummy video? And there's something else in here. Oh, there's two something else in here. Okay. Um, there's an herb pod press. So it fits inside the Levo pod. You know the little, I'll show you guys. This little pod where your herbs go into. It smells <laughs> like herb. Um, so you use this little press to kind of get it down in there nice and packed tight. So I guess if you wanted to try to get more like ground up herb in there, um, then you would use this. And what else? Oh, it's an extra pod. Now a lot of people ask like how can they make um, like extra potent uh, like oil or butter or whatever in the Levo. And this is really a good tool. So like the fact that it comes with an extra pod because I know some people use um, Jeff, the 426 chef's idea where he puts like a, uh, I don't drink coffee, so I can't think of what it's called. Uh, I think it's a French press, like a French press mesh. So it go, he puts that like in the bottom of this and then you have like the whole area to put like your herb in with your butter or oil. So this is pretty cool. And so like, you would have two of these. So you can fill them up both and then you would be able to like double, triple, quadruple dose your herb if that's what you want to do. And then also the Mega Herb Bundle, I got this, an email saying that it came, it comes with also two um, e-cookbooks. So that was really exciting that it comes, because I love a good cookbook, I collect them. And one of the cookbooks is actually called Keto, uh, Levo Meets Keto, or Keto Meets Levo, something like that. And as you guys know, I mostly try to eat low carb keto, and I was really excited to see what they had in there. So they did have a dessert. So I picked this one, it's called Sopapilla. Uh, cheesecake bars and it's kind of similar to my cheesecake pie squares that I made on the channel a long time ago um, But it's keto so I'm excited to give it a try and try like a keto kind of cheesecake snack recipe So I'm going to be using a recipe. We're going to use our whole mega accessories bundle um, to Go ahead and make the recipe and then I already just got finished making some butter in the Levo and then I just chilled it a little bit um, Because you know I need to be chilled, and we're gonna get started with the recipe. Okay, so I have all the ingredients ready for our keto uh, cheesecake bars. Now, the recipe from Levo says to use in, um, to infuse the butter with cinnamon, and it's like wink, wink, <laughs> right? You know, that's what they recommend your infusion be. Obviously, we're infusing with cannabis, so. I actually infused um, this butter with about one gram per ounce um, of cannabis. So this is two tablespoons and it's gonna equ um, equate to about 100 milligrams of THC. So that's how much THC is gonna be going um, into the recipe as a whole. And the other ingredients that we need are cream cheese, vanilla extract, coconut and almond flour, keto sweeteners, 
mozzarella cheese, cinnamon. Okay, so the first step in the recipe is to make the keto dough. So I'm really interested because I've never used mozzarella uh, cheese in like a sweet recipe, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. So basically you start by melting the mozzarella and then um, we're gonna add two ounces of the cream cheese, the, the flowers, egg, baking powder, um, vanilla, and then a little bit of our sweetener, like two tablespoons. So I'm gonna get all of that in the mixer and start to get it mixed up. Now I did say to use a dough hook, which I do have, but if you don't have one, just try to wing it or maybe do it <laughs> with your hands. All right, let's get this stuff in here. Okay, so the dough is ready, and it really does actually look kind of like a pie crust, so I'm actually really impressed by that. And um, so you're supposed to take half of it, press it into an 8x8 eight eight pan, and then keep the other half like as the top layer. So you're going to kind of have to make your own like makeshift square, um, or like a separate piece of parchment paper so that you can layer it on top. But first we're going to start with the first half of the dough. And I'm gonna wet my fingers a little bit and just kind of press it until I fill up the bottom of the pan. Okay, so now that the crusts are prepped, I'm gonna go ahead and make the cheesecake filling. And that's really, really simple. It's just the cream cheese, whatever sweetener you're gonna be using, vanilla and eggs. You're gonna get that all whipped up or put it um, in the crust, and then we'll try to get it in the oven. So let's get started with all of that. It also helps, I think, to let your cream cheese soften uh, before you use it and not just straight out of the, um, the fridge. One, it's easier to work with, um, but I think it blends better with the other ingredients when you use room temperature ingredients. The same thing with eggs. Okay, so now I'm somehow supposed to get this second crust flipped on top of the, the cream cheese and that part I'm not exactly sure I can do. Like if it was more pliable, I could do like the like roll, unroll thing, like unroll it onto there, but it's crusty, like, you know, like pie crust. So I think my only option is to flip it over, <laughs> to flip it over. So we're gonna see. What happens, I'm going to be really gentle with it, but this is what the recipe says to do. So, let's see. Oh my gosh. Ah! Birdie. <laughs> but it's on there. It is on there. Okay, so now that we have the top crust on there, um, the last step is to put like the, the crumble on it, the cinnamon crumble. So that is the infused butter mixed with two tablespoons of like the sweetener that you use and, um, and then cinnamon. So it smells really good and I'm really just gonna use my fingers to just kind of plop it around um, on top of here. And then I'm gonna put it in a 350 degree oven for 50 minutes. Now, um, it did say something about if the butter starts to pool in the middle, like if you notice that halfway through to just take like a pastry brush or a spatula or whatever and kind of move the butter around instead of letting it just sit in the middle. So, but I, I've made, this is very similar to the cheesecake pie squares that we, um, we made on the, ch the channel before. And I don't really have any issue with it, uh, with it pooling because I just put like the crumbles like all over the top crust. So we'll see what happens. All right guys, so our keto cheesecake bars are out of the oven. I let them um, cool for maybe like 10 minutes or so before I decided to cut into them. But let me just say my house smells amazing. <laughs> like it smells like fresh cinnamon bread 
And I will say that like um, what's different from the cheesecake pie squares that we've made before is that like it um, the crumble didn't like spread the way it normally does. And I think it's because we didn't use real sugar, right? Because it's keto like sweetener or sugar substitute. I either use Lakanto or Swerve, it really is whatever you want. But I think that's why it didn't like spread with the butter. So there's literally like like dollops of cinnamon sugar all over the top. I'm not mad at that, but that is probably um, the biggest visual difference I saw when it came out of the oven. So I'm gonna cut these up into uh, probably 12 squares, um, just so they're kind of small, which will make them probably like eight, 0.3 milligrams of THC each because remember we had those two um, tablespoons that had 100 milligrams of THC in it when we started. So I'm just going to get these sliced up and we can taste it. Okay, so these look pretty good. Um, it's standing up really well. I can see the cheesecake in the middle. Um, the crust is very defined, it's like top and bottom. I'm really impressed so far with this keto recipe. Um, and normally, I would, now these are still warm, like I'm still kind of like fumbling it in my hand. Um, and normally I wouldn't eat cheesecake warm, like I would wait, I would refrigerate them and eat it like room temperature or cold. So I'm gonna give it that benefit of the doubt, <laughs> right? But uh, other than that, like I said, it smells good, it looks good, it doesn't taste good. me of like a cheese danish so something you might like with coffee or tea or milk i guess but i think once they set a little bit more and they're cold i like them even more because like i said i normally wouldn't eat warm cheesecake but it is really good um, i think you can play with the recipe if you want to bump up the sugar or sweetener a little bit more you can but they're really good they taste like cheesecake and it, i mean the fact that it tastes like cheesecake and it's still keto I'm happy about it. Now I don't, I don't know what to do with the recipe, so I don't know like any calorie counts or um, or carb counts, but I think this is a success. So that's awesome. And then before we get out of here, because it's 17 and we learned about it today, <laughs> I'm going to do a giveaway. So I actually have two sets of these. Um, Levo gummy and candy molds. Y'all probably remember the first one <laughs> from the episode where we tested them out to see um, how it worked. And then I have a new one that came in my mega accessories bundle. So I'm gonna be giving it to you because it's 710 and we're celebrating and what's a celebration without gifts. So um, two lucky subscribers will win um, the Levo gummy and candy mold. So that's pretty dope. And um, same old, uh, I guess like <laughs> guidelines to win, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I give gifts to people who give me <laughs> with their subscription, right? So make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's like a duh. And then like this video and then share this video. And then you can leave a comment um, what you're doing on 17 and if you knew about it already, because <laughs> I definitely didn't. But just leave me a comment even if you just say hey, that's all right. Um, and that's it. So like I said, be subscribed, like the video, share the video and just leave me a comment below wishing me a happy 17 as I wish you a happy 17. And I will let you guys know on Tuesday um, in the Facebook, I mean Facebook, Lord, in the YouTube community post um, who won or maybe I'll do a live video, we'll see. But either way, on Tuesday, um, I'll let you guys know who won. And also, Levo is actually um, doing a sale for 17, which is pretty cool. So there, instead of this 10% um, off that you guys normally get with my code, um, the antidote, which is always down in the description somewhere, um, you're actually going to get 17% off uh, on anything you buy on Levo. So that's accessories or the actual machine. Same code, just the antidote, but until now through Monday the 12th, you're gonna get 17% um, instead of 10%. So that's pretty cool. And if you're seeing this video <laughs> after the 10th, I mean after the 12th, which is Monday, um, then it's okay. You'll still get 10% off using code the antidote for my subscribers. So it's always a win-win. We appreciate Levo for sponsoring the video and the giveaway. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.